Number two, consider the line AB with points A, 8, 6, and B, negative 6, negative 10. If the point 1, comma B lies on line AB, then B equals what? So this is a pretty classic, just getting a line from two points. So first thing I'm going to do is try to find the slope of this line. So the slope is the change in y divided by change in x. Well, if we go from a to b, our change in y from 6 to negative 10 would be negative 16. And our change in x going from 8 to negative 6 would be negative 14. If I simplify this a little bit, I get a slope of 8 sevenths. And then from here, I can use the point slope equation. So y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. This is just the point slope equation. And I'll pick, I'll pick A. You can pick A or B, but I'm just going to use A for this question. So my equation will be y minus 6, y1, y1, equals m, which is 8 sevenths, times x minus x1. So x minus x1. So x minus 8, right there. And now I have an equation that relates y and x. So what's that question actually asking for? It says if the point 1 comma b lies on ab and solve for b. Well, this is basically just saying if x equals 1, then what does y equal? So if I plug 1 into this equation, you get y equals 8 sevenths times 1 minus 8 plus 6. So 1 minus 8, that's negative 7. 8 sevenths times negative 7, that'll be negative 8. Then plus 6 will give you negative 2. And that's answer choice A. There's also a way to do this on the Inspire, if, this is, if that's something you're interested in. If not, then you can leave. But if you want to see how to, a trick to do this on the Inspire, then stick around. So as many of you know, there is a linear regression function on, on your calculator. So what you go to, you go to statistics, and then stat calculations, and then you can go to either 3 or 4. It doesn't matter which one. So I'm going to go to three. So in the first part, you put your X list, and you have to put it in braces, which you can do by using control and then the right parenthesis. So my two X coordinates are 8 and negative 6. And then inputting my Y coordinates, uh, 6 and negative 10. And always make sure that these line up. So like, the first one in my x list and the first one in my y list, those correspond to 1.8,6. Okay, and then before before you press OK, or you can also just click Enter down here, always see what, what this says right here. Save, and this stands for regression equation. Save regression equation to, and in this case, it's F1. And I'll show you why that's important. So if I click Enter or click OK, you get this, right? And so this is telling you y equals 1.14286 minus 3. Point, no, times x minus 3.14286. And that's the equation. But the good thing about using the regression is that because I stored it in F1, that's now that's stored as a variable. So now I can say, well, in my in my question, I'm plugging in 1 for x, right? I'm plugging in 1 for x. So I can just say, well, f1 of 1, click Enter, that outputs negative 2. And you get the same answer. In some scenarios, this is quicker. I wouldn't recommend doing this all the time. I'd recommend um, getting familiar with this kind of question and deciding for yourself which one do you think is going to be quicker. But just wanted to show you an alternative. So anyway, if you have any questions from other tests, make sure to leave a comment, and I'll make a video with a solution. With that said, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.